Good morning, peoples. October the 6th. The mind grows only through use. And it atrophies. $10 word, there you go. Uh, through idleness. Just as the physical body becomes strong through regular exercise, so does the mind require regular use to remain strong. Make sure that your personal development plan includes plenty of mental stimulation. One of the best ways to develop your imagination and visualization skills is through reading. As you read, your mind translates the words into images that help you better understand the concepts about which you are reading. Become a voracious reader. It's another $10 word. There you go. Voracious. Sounds good, too, to say. Uh, read newspapers, trade magazines, self-help books, and novels. All will contribute to your store of knowledge and to your ability to visualize and more effectively use your imagination. There you go. Uh, 100, as they, they say on fake book, you know, the, one, the red 100. 100, 100, 100, 100 percent. So um, a big part of real estate is communication. Communication with teammates, partners, wholesalers, flippers, landlords, lenders, sellers, buyers. Um, the better you communicate, the more you communicate, the, the, the better able you are to communicate, uh, the more successful you'll be. It's that simple. And I personally believe that a huge part of good communication is, is having a good vocabulary. Now, do you need words like voracious to communicate effectively? No. In fact, if you use words like that, I think a lot of people wouldn't even understand what you're saying. But I think by reading and, and building your vocabulary and expanding your mind and you know, understanding a lot of concepts, the more, the more you read, I think the better able to communicate you are, in, in my opinion. I, I agree 150% with what he said. And, and you notice he mentioned, you know, novels in there, too. Not just reading Think, Think and Grow Rich or Rich Dad, Poor Dad, but also reading, you know, Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain or uh, Slaughterhouse-Five by Kurt Vonnegut or whatever you're into and you like, you know, whatever kind of books or stories you're into. Um, and the physical reading, I don't think, is as important as far as putting uh, feeding your brain putting food into your brain so if you're not a reader and you just can't turn pages you just hate to do it audible you know almost every book in the world is on the uh, audible platform now where you can download it and listen to it in your car or on your phone you know the earbuds at night before you go to sleep honestly the best time to feed your brain is at night before you go to sleep because the thoughts that you put in there just before you go to sleep will continue to turn around in your subconscious while you're sleeping. So you can get some powerful ideas and solve a lot of problems at night while you sleep. That's another way to make that eight hours or whatever you sleep uh, work for you is by putting ideas into your head, putting information into your head just before you go to sleep. So, cool stuff. Thank you, Mr. Hill. You are the man. And uh, I agree 100%. Read more, even if that means listening to audio. That's still reading, in my opinion. So that's the thing for today, guys.